For Belizeans, they're hungry for the world and through technology as well, um, we, we want to reach out to them through this communication center. So they're, especially our young people, we know that um, they use a lot of technology, but I think we're not reaching out to them the way we should, you know. So their cry or their help maybe is not being addressed as we would like it to be. So having this communication center, I believe we can address some of that or fill some of that void. It won't um, correct everything, but it will fill some of the void. It's not just about being heard. It's about coming from the heart, coming from God as a central part of our lives. Him guiding us and let us um, reach out to those who are crying for help, the, the, the poor, the people who, who are um, less fortunate, you know. So we need to listen to their cry and even to the people, um, listen to them to, to serve them in the areas where they're most needed. We were very happy to uh, receive that news. Um, we were very happy that it is finally uh, started to, to become a reality. And the, the, the end product we welcome it with great joy. Uh, it's gonna be extremely useful for our diocese, for our church in Belize, our region, uh, God willing. But it's a, it's a project that, that we uh, are grateful, but at the same time uh, bring to use it to evangelize and at the same time to uh, reach out to others out there who are hungry, longing for the Word of God. The communication center here is the perfect bridge and perfect tool to reach out, to walk across, so to speak, the proverbial bridge to young people to pull them in. There, there are so many things and so many ways they can make use of this diocesan facility. For example, if we could get young people here from the colleges who are interested in, in learning podcasts, we could have a workshop for them, show them how to use the equipment, how to uh, host their own podcasts, and who knows, eventually they can be hosting their own young people as yes, guests. Yes, that's a hope that we They can have. get hosts and they have a lot of young people as guests and hosting their own show. Mm -hmm. that, that's on, on something we, we, us, I know. think we should um, seriously consider yeah. in, in the near future. In the near future. I like, I like that idea. I, I just keep seeing that revolving in my mind. So, you know, we're having a, a podcast show hosted by two young people yes. and then the, the guests are also young people speaking yeah. about events mm -hmm. of, that, that would influence our church. Yeah. Know? 